Welcome to This Week in Wise Shores, where we talk about Wise Shores' news and cards of the day. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, this is a very slow news week. I am still going to try and make this as enjoyable of an episode as possible, but in the end, this will probably just be an episode. Before we get started, if you want to support the channel, you can use my TCG Player affiliate link in the description below. You support me directly with no added charge to you, but before you use my link, check with your local game store to see if there are any cards or supplies that you need. Support them first before you support me. Alternatively, if you want to support me super directly, use my coffee link in the description below. Um, what other links are down there? Uh, oh, my Twitter! At CasuallyWS, you can check it down in the description below. Um, uh, my second channel is there as well. I'm gonna be doing, like, a lot more vlogs. Um, there's timestamps down there as well. Uh, I think my Twitch is linked as well, as well as a very nice copy pasta about how Now that, the my friends, well, is called awesome. padding for time. Oh. And I think we are good. And with that, let's get on with the news. We have received the Love Live Superstar Trial Deck Design. This is how it's going to look like. That's it. That's all we got. We got all the information uh, last week, so it will be released August 27th. We also have the design for the booster boxes of Grisaya. I have talked about Grisaya, especially this set, multiple times on this channel. You already know what's in the set. 130 cards plus the PR packs and everything. We're all covered there. But what we have not talked about is the new illustrations for Y Shores. Each main character is receiving one exclusive art for the game. Obviously, not the main character because he's a dude. I'm sorry, Yuji. That is it. Yeah, set is released August 20th. Is there anything else? Uh, oh, Quince. Yeah, we have some Quince stuff. We received the rarity breakdown of the set. And as I mentioned in a previous episode, we are happy to hear that this set does not contain double rare pluses. And there are only 100 cards in the set. But everything else from the previous set is going to make a comeback in this one. We have super rares, triple rares, overframe rares, which is a new thing, as well as Hanayome rares and SSPs. And here's the kicker, all 100 cards will have a parallel rare. So there are 74 super rares, 6 triple rares, 10 overframe rares, 5 Hanayome rares, and 5 SSPs. Oh yeah, that, um, I, that I do not like. So this is exactly like what they did with Hollow Live. Every single card will have a parallel rare. Max rarity is definitely going to be a challenge for this set, but hey, you know what? Every card is going to contain a foil, so that might actually cool down the prices on the non-foil cards because generally, in the long run, players usually seek out the foiled ones as opposed to the common ones. Also, we receive the going first and going second cards for set 2. Each of the five girls are going to receive their own first and second cards. The art is chibi art, so if you're not into that style, you could give me your copy of Yotsuba. I would really appreciate it, honestly. Once again, the set will be released on September 10th of this year. Over in the English side of the news, Bushy Road is currently hiring. I do have a VOD of a Let's Play that I did, and the game was, let's see if I'm even qualified to work for Bushy Road. Granted, I kind of think I'm overqualified to work at Bushy Road, so if you want a job there, go ahead, by all means, and hey, get me into those exclusive events please you know just uh don't forget as little people when you start working there so checking on glass ceiling for the salary pay um i'm good let's leave it at that i'm good let's go to the next bit of news all right here you go bushy road reviewed the stream for spring fest and they have noticed in the quarterfinals some rule infractions have been committed this is straight from Bushy Road. At the start of the game, the cards were shuffled at an angle such that the printed side of the cards are visible only towards the shuffling players. This falls under 312, improper shuffling in the rule books. As this tournament is a level 2 tournament, the penalty given should be a game loss. We deeply apologize for our incapability to catch this during the game. So this was in the quarterfinals. The main clip that is being shared around was actually from the finals. I'm not going to show the clip because in a sense, I do think it's kind of like gross on how they kind of treated the player, but the entire match was stopped so the judge could teach this player how to shuffle and Bushy Road didn't really have a problem with that. Unfortunately, the player will forever be dunked on by being the person that was taught how to shuffle on stream, but hey, you know, Así es la vida. But if we're being completely serious here, 
this is not the player's fault. This is Bushiroad's fault for not catching them during the quarterfinals and then having it on camera for the finals. They played well and they got second regardless if the shuffling was weird or not. If Bushiroad really had an issue with the shuffling and the judge calls, why didn't they call it out? during the tournament why did they have to wait a week to take away their winnings this isn't the player's fault I'm, I'm i'm standing by it it's not the player's fault if anything this is bushy road's fault for not catching it at the time they need it's their tournament they need to be in control of what is happening in the games and this isn't like some regular this is the quarterfinals and the finals the player got second place and regardless if they shuffled weird or not they played really really well and because of this the player is now retroactively disqualified and all of the standings will go up in a sense so second place is now in third and third is now in fourth and so on and so forth now you know what that means batman ninja is now meta oh Jeez, man. i can't I believe it <laughs> june scares the living shit out of me honestly either way this is another knock against online tournaments there are a lot of good that could come from online tournaments players who do not live close or do not have means to joining a tournament be it uh, transportation or financial issues are able to partake in these large tournaments as someone who lives in southern california i'm extremely privileged to be able to live next to spring fest spring fest is relatively close to where i live as well i have like multiple card shops anime conventions and japanese specialty shops where I could partake in my hobbies. Yeah, there is cheating in online tournaments, but we kind of have to give him the benefit of the doubt. Playing on camera is something that not many people are accustomed to, especially players that got into the game recently. There is a real learning curve and a lot of extra rules that we don't have when playing in person when you play remotely. And like I said, we have to give these players the benefit of the doubt but i swear if you do this again i'm gonna beat the shit out of you on discord and uh i think that is a uh that's a good note to end it on and with that thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe for more wise news and content and i will see you all in the next one